Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of complex numbers. And we are continuing our series of questions on JWE Advanced. So today's question from complex numbers, it says, let A is a set which is given to us with an expression which says 1967 plus 1686 I sine theta divided by 7 minus 3i cos theta. And the further question tells us theta belongs to R, that is real numbers. And the question also tells us if this set of A contains exactly one positive integer, which is N, the question asks us to find the value of N. So let's try to figure out the value of N. And if I talk about the question, they are asking us to figure out the value of n. So let's see how to solve this question. Before starting off with the solution for this question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible so you understand them in a better way let's see how to solve the question further so if i figure out how to solve the question further i have been given a as an expression which is given to us as 1967 plus 1686 sine theta divided by 7 minus 3i cos theta so 1967 and 1686, if I try to factorize them, 1967, if I try to factorize it, it can get divided by some number. Let's see how. So if I divide it by 7, I get 7 twos is 14, 56, 7 eights is 56. If I divide it, 7 two times is 14. 56 or 7, 8 times is 56 and then 1, so 7, 1 times 7. So 1967, I'm able to write as 281 into 7. 1686 also, let's factorize it simultaneously so we understand some common multiple that is left. So if I divide it by 2 because it's easily divisible, 2 eights is 16, 2 4 is 8 and 2 3 is 6. If I further divide it with 3, I get 3 times 2 is 6, 24, so 3 times 8 and 1. So I'm getting this number 281 in both of them. So I can write this 1967 as 7 into 281 and 1686 as 6 into 8, 281. So further I can take out from here 281 common. So I'm left with 7 plus 6i sine theta divided by 7 minus 3i sine theta. Now once I have this, I further would rationalize this expression. So if I try to rationalize the expression, I'll multiply both sides with 7 plus, sorry, 7 minus 3i cos theta was there, not sine theta. So instead of 7 minus 3i cos theta, I'll multiply it with the conjugate of that. So 7 plus 3i cos theta. So I multiply and divide by 7 plus 3i cos theta. Once I do that, I further get this expression as 281 a minus b into a plus b, which is a square minus b square. And this, if I see the whole bracket gets multiplied, so 7 plus 6i sine theta, 7 plus 3i cos theta. So I get from here further the expression, which turns out the denominator is 49 minus 3 square is 9, i square is minus 1, so plus 1. Because i square is minus 1, so minus into minus becomes plus. And this becomes 9 cos square theta. So I get here 281. And the two brackets, if I multiply, I get 49 plus 7 into 3, which is 21 i cos theta plus 6 into 7, 42 i sine theta plus 6 into 3, 18 i square. So i square is minus 1, so minus 18 sine theta cos theta. So I have this entire expression with me. 
Now, once I have this entire expression with me, I'm just still taking 281 common. So I get from here 281 common. I have 49 minus 18 sine theta cos theta plus 21 i cos theta plus 42 i sine theta. So I get from here plus i. 21 cos theta plus 42 sin theta. The whole thing divided by 49 plus 9 cos square. So I get this entire expression. Now once I have this entire expression, I can write this further as 281 49 minus 18 sin theta cos theta divided by 49 plus 9 cos square theta plus i 281 21 cos theta plus 42 sin theta whole thing divided by 49 plus 9 cos square theta. So I get this entire expression in the form of real part plus imaginary part. Now the question tells me that this entire set of A which consists of this expression has exactly one positive integer and that is N. So if it has a positive integer, so if A just consists of one positive integer and that is N, what I understand from this is that the expression which I have gotten should not involve any imaginary part. So this entire imaginary part would become equal to zero. So further, if I try to solve this, I get 281, 21 cos theta plus 42 sin theta divided by 49 plus 9 cos square theta is equal to zero. Once I get this entire imaginary part to become equal to zero, this entire thing, entire expression gets to the other side and gets multiplied with 0. 281 goes on the other side, gets divided by 0. So you get further that 21 cos theta plus 42 sin theta should be equal to 0. From there, if I further solve, I get 21 cos theta is equal to minus 42 sin theta. And that gives me tan theta is equal to minus 21 divided by 42, which is minus half. So I have gotten from this expression tan theta is minus half. So tan of theta, it's minus half and theta, tan of any trigonometric ratio I know, tan is opposite over adjacent. So opposite side is one times and the adjacent side is two times. The negative sign will take care of that later. But for now, let's find the magnitude of this expression. So if I want here the hypotenuse, I can apply Pythagoras theorem. Let's say ABC is my triangle. So triangle ABC, AC square is 1 square plus 2 square. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 1 plus 4, 5. And AC is square root of 5. So AC basically becomes square root of 5. Now once I have AC as square root of 5 further, I get this from here. The expression for sine theta if I figure out. Sine theta I get from here opposite over hypotenuse cos theta from here I get this is adjacent over hypotenuse now once I have this expression with me I don't know whether this tan theta when it is negative we know that tan theta is negative in the second quadrant also and in the fourth quadrant also so if tan theta is negative in the second quadrant sin is positive and cos is negative so in that case if I write it Let's say here. So if I have that theta in the second quadrant where tan theta is negative, sine theta becomes positive, cos theta becomes negative. And if I have the theta in the fourth quadrant also where tan is negative, I get from there sine theta is negative and cos theta is positive. So you get these two ideas. Now, if I figure out the question is asking me to find the value of n and n is basically the expression that is set A, which consists of positive integer n. 
for which we know the entire imaginary part is zero. So only the real part remains here. And in that, if I see, I have sin theta, cos theta and cos square theta as. So if I see sin theta and the cos theta, the product of them is present. And we know if sin is positive, cos is negative. If cos is negative, sin is positive. So we can put the product of them will always be negative. So we can put both of the values in one single expression to find the value of the set which is present, positive integer n. So let's see. So I know that set A which is present consists of only positive integer n. So real part of that complex number which is present that is basically n. So n becomes 281 times the entire expression that was there was 49 minus 18 sin theta cos theta. And that was entirely divided by 49 plus 9 cos square theta. Now once I have with me, I have sin theta. The magnitude was 1 over root 5. Cos theta, the magnitude was 2 over root 5. When this was positive, this becomes negative. And if when this becomes negative, this becomes positive. So product of the sin theta into cos theta, if I figure out, it's always, if one is positive, the other is negative. So the product is always negative. And root 5 into root 5 becomes 5. Also, if I talk about the cos square theta, which is present in the expression, irrespective of cos theta being negative or positive, the square of that's always positive. So 4 over 25. Now, if I put that here in the expression, I get 281, 49 minus 18, and minus 2 over 5 divided by 49 plus 9, 4 over 25. So I get this entire expression. If I further solve it, I get 281. 49 plus 36 over 5. And here you get 49 plus 36 over 25. So I have this expression with me. Now let's try to further solve this idea. So if I try to further solve here, first thing we have done here is a mistake here. Cos square theta, irrespective of it being negative or positive, the square of that would be 4 over 5, not 4 over 25. So we have substituted here 4 over 25. Let's make it 4 over 5 everywhere. So 9 into 4 would make it 36 over 5. Instead of further solving it, this expression, I can see both the expressions are exactly the same. And when they are exactly the same, I'll just cancel that. So that leaves me with 281. And that basically becomes the value of this positive integer n, which is present in the set A. And that is 281. So I get the correct answer to the question which is asked to us. And the correct answer for the question which is asked to us here becomes 281. That becomes your value of n. So I get the correct answer for the question that is asked and that basically becomes the value of n as 281. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question which deals with the ideas of finding the values of the expressions that are asked to us in the set using the ideas of complex numbers. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well. And do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions that we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.